What up, world? It's Eternal Authenticity, broadcasting live. We're doing a video. It's first thing of the day. We just woke up. Well, we've been up for a little while. We've just been meditating with some music in the background, you know, starting the day up in a gradual, graceful way. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't always have to be, you know, alarm clock buzzing and you just rushing out the bed to rush over here and rush over there. No, you know, some of us actually value tranquility and value a pleasant start to our day, you know. So you look at the ancients or ancient people, they didn't have no alarm clocks. You know, they might have had a rooster or a chicken or something. And the sun, honestly... A bunch of chimes and bells and whistles and flutes and drums and stuff like that. That's what we used. Spring water, you know, all of that stuff. So anyways, I'm just doing a video. It's continuation about letting go and whatnot. Because like, I remember one of my mentors, Ralph Smart Infinite Waters, he like posted a video maybe like at the beginning of 2019. And... He posted like a video. I'm pretty sure it's one of it was a twin flame video, like at the beginning of 2019 or at the end of 2018. Bottom line is, it was a twin flame video that was like, you know, addressing 2019. You know, it was like tips for your twin flame in 2019, something like that. Bottom line is, I remember he mentioned several times or a few times saying like, you have to be so unconcerned with finding your twin flame, and then, like, it will manifest, and honestly, I agree with that, because, <laughs> you know, I thought going vegan, oh, yeah, this is going to be so easy, you know what I'm saying, all I just want to do is just eat grapes, or, you know, have some guacamole and whatnot, some strawberries and everything, and just be out in the jungle, you know, and yeah, I still do desire to have that happen, and for me to be compensated for it as well i'm determined to have this happen you know and at the same time it's still like a whole process within ourselves too like with changing ourselves within from the foods that we're consuming and everything else changes as well and like basically you know with the whole thing you know it helped me get out the whole quick fix type of mentality i'm no saint i'm not perfect i'm just saying like you know this world really is heavy on quick fixes and stuff like that. And it's funny, you'll even see how much, how even more awesome I am because when you're able to cross over from a quick fix type of world and then finally you're like more graceful within and at the same time still the energies you may be dealing with, you still like you know that it's like a, you know, a two-second knockout type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, and, like, you still got to even be more patient, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, you got to be patient before you even knew about plant life, and then patient when you become into plant life, and what I mean by that is, like, you're learning that you can be a student and a teacher at the same time, you know, that's what I've realized, like, I don't know it all, and at the same time, I still do have experience, and I still do have a valuable voice, you know, to share what I've gone through and personally what I'm aware of and what I know, you know, and at the same time, I'm always learning every day, too. So, like, I guess that's what I'm talking about, the whole one-two knockout type of thing. Not, I'm not, I repeat, I am not, I am not, I am not talking about fighting or anything. I was just saying that. Don't take that seriously. I'm just saying, like, okay, take, like, for instance, Michael Jordan, one of the most amazing, legendary basketball players of all time in the NBA. And let's say some, you know, someone who is, like, six years old and they've never played basketball in their entire life, you know, and they have a lot of health ailments and stuff like that. Let's say, boom, they're supposed to do a one-on-one, -on -one, you know? You see this all the time, you know, like where, you know, it's a graceful one-on-one. -on -one. It's not super serious, you know what I'm saying? The six-year-old is not out there. In the NBA, you know, with the six-year-old being like, 
three foot, whatever, four foot, whatever, against all of these seven foot, six foot, whatever professional players have been playing for many, many years. You know, yes, the six year old has, you know, potential to grow and he will, they will be amongst, you know, other six year olds and whatnot. And like, though, you know, experience life with their appropriate age groups, you know, with appropriate skill levels. So it's an equal playing field. You know, you don't want to just have someone who's never done anything versus someone who's extremely mastered and experienced in a certain field, you know, like that's where the whole teaching thing comes from. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm speaking about, about life, about this whole awakening and everything, you know, like to where, you know, it lets go of your ego, our ego. And it's like, oh, okay, well, hmm, cool. Yeah, I'm vegan, but guess, and guess what? You know, other people are vegan too. So that's, that's how going vegan helps you to really just establish your ultimate love for yourself. Because the ultimate amazing thing is being authentic within yourself and like appreciating yourself, not trying to be like anybody else whatsoever. And yeah, it can be hard sometimes because guess what? Every time you pop up on social media, boom, someone's Instagram famous, boom, someone has all of these like just pics on Snapchat and stuff, you know, promos, promotions, shout outs, all this stuff, Facebook, random friends. I don't even know who they are. You know, all this stuff, time and time again. And it's like, you just feel like this competition in the world. You know, even though you're not competing, you feel it amongst the other people. And it's ridiculous, to be honest. You see some people and they're like, boom, all of a sudden, millions of subscribers on YouTube out of nowhere, right? I'm not knocking it. I'm not taking it away from them. I'm just saying, like, you know, what I've learned is just to stick to what truly resonates and feels right and really aligns truthfully within your spirit because that's only a number you know these subscribers these followers these likes and everything you don't know what they did to get it you know and to each his own whatever you know I just always resonated with the people where people just gravitated towards them naturally in a gra- in a graceful real way you know not this oh let me let me um you know, sell out, sell my soul, start lying, and start just being out of character, you know, and just get all this viral stuff, you know, and in the long run, burn out, you know, or, oh, let me just get this money, just like buy fake likes, fake subscribers, fake views, all this stuff, you know, so like, bottom line is with this whole vegan thing, you learn truthfully the long way around, you know, it doesn't mean you know it all. It's just like you, you're you awakening to being an old soul, and that's what I am. And I'm just relating that with the whole twin flame thing because, yeah, you may be, I'm vegan or everything, and at the same time, guess what? There's other vegans too, you know? And at the same time also, you know, we don't control, nobody controls us. I'm uncontrollable, you know, and I don't control nobody either. So this is also liberating as well because sometimes hmm, like, and this is perfect, this is amazing too, because guess what, why would you want something so quick and easy, you know, usually stuff that's so quick and easy is a lie, and it's fake, to be honest with y'all, I'm talking about that with this social media hype, and I'm talking about with love and everything, you know, some, you never know, some of these people may get their stuff revoked, you know what I'm saying, for real, real talk, you know, some people do some sleazy some sleazy, greasy stuff, slimy stuff, you know, and down the line, down the line, down the road, boom, you know, they have to face that karma, you know, and I'm a vegan, so I'm living a karma-free lifestyle, I'm giving y'all real, you know what I'm saying, for real, so, like, I'm just sharing that with y'all, same thing with the whole love stuff, like, guys, girls, you know, you know, I'm a man, and, you know, I'm, healthy and improving in health, and I'm always going to be infatuated and in love with the beauty of a woman. And at the same time, women have also shown me, and there's probably also other bros out there that can relate, for us to slow down and be patient as well. Because 
it just makes sense because the world is a reflection. Like, it's a mirror. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I truly stand for that we have at least one divine mirror. You know what I'm saying? I haven't experienced it yet, you know, where it's like, boom, you know, because I'm actually alone right now. Again, you know? (laughs) So, like, what I envision, what I imagine, boom, right here, I'm in bed, it's breakfast time, you know, I envision them, the beautiful women, to come and bring me breakfast in bed, you know, massages, you know, vegan discussions, herbs, you know, adventures, nature, you know, family, all this stuff, like, that's how I envision it, just, just, like, an opening up of everything that has been going on, clarity, closure, unfinished business, you know, just venting, you know, sharing what happened, what's been going on, you know, a recap, whatever, who knows, just some deep stuff, that's how I envision it, you know, so like, bottom line is what I'm saying is just like, the whole twin flame thing, yeah, it is probably true, like, about you gotta be so unconcerned about it. And then it will come because it's true. You know what I'm saying? Be about your own way, you know, for real. Like, at least we can learn this hard, long discovery process early on, you know, so that we're not going the next 60, 80, 90 years of our life alone and or battling and suffering, trying to chase someone. You know what I'm saying? Because if someone truly wants to be with you, they will be with you. And I'm saying that for real. Guys, girls, whatever. I'm saying especially for the guys, too, because I am a guy. I am a man, you know? And I'm just saying, hey, guess what? If you're constantly trying to stick your foot into the shoe, if you're constantly trying to call them, text them, you know, show up even in real life, and they still don't want nothing to do with you, they're blocking you, they don't want to listen to your calls, they, you know, the text message ratio isn't even, is, is, isn't even like aligned and it's really lopsided and you're sending them a whole bunch of love and then they just got, you know, a couple of words or a couple of lines to respond, you know, or you're showing up in real life and they don't even care. They don't want to open, they don't want to have you inside their home. They say they want to be left alone. You know, you getting blocked, all this stuff. Let them go. Let them go. Because it's your turn and it's our turn for them to find their way to us with some gifts, with some hugs, whatever else they want to, you know, I don't need to ask for nothing. I know what's meant to be will find me because I've given out a whole lot of love and people is holding it on. And it's a massive delay out here for real. All I'm saying is just like, you know, keep going about your way, you know, like don't ever let these people feel, don't ever let yourself get to the point where you feel like people are better than you for real don't ever let none of these people you know get in your head that they better than you because they're not better than you you know nobody is better than you that's your power and you're not better than nobody else either you know it's all equal that's the whole thing that i've been sharing with some that i've been getting so much resistance because i'm onto big things is that guess what you know, uh, the whole thing is oneness, right? So guess what? I'm worthy of at least one divine reflection to have a family with. I'm accepting of that. Are any of them here right now? No. So it, so- it sounds like I haven't haven't met them yet. So that's why I keep going on fearlessly, passionately, because I'm like, hey, you know what? I don't even care no more. I don't care what none of these celebrities doing. I don't care what none of these past friends that want to talk and call us crazy behind our back. I don't want to, I don't even care about none of these politicians that certainly don't care about us. I don't want to care about none of these people that literally don't care about who we are truly. Someone who truly cares about you will literally drop everything and make space and time for you. They will literally pause the world and they will devote their time to you. There will be no phones in their hand over and over again repeatedly. You know, they won't be addicted to their phone screen while they're in your presence. 
they will actually have some meaningful vibes, some deep discussions, something of substance and depth that can stimulate you mentally, your soul, your heart. And guess what? The icing on top of the cake is when it could be your spouse and your, they can stimulate your body, your soul, and y'all can have a family and y'all can carry on your family legacy. That's what it is. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. This People got this world twisted and lopsided and flip-flopped. People doing opposite stuff. It's like I don't even care about the world. All I care about is nature, is the fruits, the vegetables, the herbs, the spices, the grains, the nuts, the sunshine, the clean water, and the love. That's it. That's really it. Everything else in this matrix is an illusion. I'm accepting of it, and I'm not fighting it either. I'm just saying you got to come down to what truly matters in life, and then you're more aware of what to be alert for, you know, with these daily interactions. Because people are going to be buzzing by. And guess what? Let's say you manifested and you finally got yourself a Rolex and you finally got yourself a Rolls Royce and you got yourself a mansion or whatever. How much you want to bet all these people are going to want to be around you all of a sudden, you know? And there will be some other people probably who are going to be around you and they was around you when you didn't even have that stuff. Now, those are some, the realest people. You know what I'm saying? For real. That's my point I'm making, okay? Someone who's truly meant to be with you, absolutely, without a doubt, will appear in your life and come to you, come to your doorstep with a happy message that will give you a hug, you know, and it will be something that will bring you life and love and peace and tranquility and freedom, you know, and just will uplift your spirits. Case closed, you know what I'm saying? That's the truth on that, you know what I'm saying? And for guys especially, because I'm biased because I am a guy, and I'm speaking to y'all like my brothers and family members and whatever, you know, like, if the women saying to be left alone, leave them alone, for real, real talk, leave them alone, especially if you know you done put everything out, your heart and soul 100%, and it still ain't so-called good enough for them, and they still want to try to nitpick stuff, and you've been doing everything in your capability. And they really just want to be left alone, then let it be. Just let go and focus on you, your inner world. I'm saying it to you. They say wisdom is knowing the full extent of one's own ignorance and stupidity. And I'm saying it from experience, just like there's other older mentors, mentors that can say it as well. We're aware of this from our own stupidity and our own ignorance and our own st- stupid experience. You know what I'm saying? By fueling the fire, by trying to fight fire with fire, by fueling the fire, feeding the beast, you know what I'm saying, and not getting nothing back, and not, like, you know what I'm saying, and it just being a cold hand, you know, so in that that time, let go, go for a walk, breathe, meditate, write some stuff down, exercise, clean up your room, clean up the dishes in the sink, in the kitchen, you know, Go hang out with some bros, some homies, some friends, whatever. Go work out, whatever. You know, go to sleep. Something. Just get out. I know it's going to be hard. I know it's it's unbearable because you find yourself in a rare spot. You know, most people, they're going to be so quick to act off of their just reaction and they just don't get out of that cycle, you know, and they just want to just stay in that, you know, broken spirit cycle, and then there's some other people who don't even express themselves, and they're like a mute, you know, suppressed type of whatever, you know what I'm saying, so basically, the rare chosen ones like me, like I am, you find yourself in the middle where you don't even fit in at all, and you have to really, really pull down deep and just be strong, you know, and realize that love will come our way. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the main thing I was saying. That doesn't mean you need to give up on love or anything. I'm just saying like the mentality of it, just from experience. I don't know everything. I don't know it all. And at the same time, I do have a valid voice and valid experience as well, okay? That's been helping me throughout this voyage because trust me, 
I've been through a lot and I've stressed myself out a lot, you know, about trying, about attempt, attempting to get someone in my life who doesn't even want to be there, you know, and guess what? That doesn't work at all. Okay. I know you may be like, oh, wow, I got to be a hero. I got to, you know, save them, this and that. Guess what? If someone keeps resist, if someone keeps running away from you voluntarily, no matter what you're saying, if you're saying evil stuff or you're saying even amazing stuff or even if you are whatever, and they just no matter what, and they still just want to run away from you, let them go. Let them go. Let them go. This ain't no movies. This is real life. It's your own real life movie. This ain't no Disney Pixar stuff. This ain't no fairy tale stuff. It's real life. For real. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when it happens, just let it go. Let it go. And trust me, those first few stings, burns that burn so bad, like a brand, like a cow being branded, those first few times, like, woo, they sting you real bad. You know what I'm saying? And then as you go further and further, those stings, they don't really sting anymore. They turn into little little pecks of love. You know, they turn into little little mosquito bites instead of, you know, a, a dinosaur or something like just gulping out gallons of blood from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it turns into a little tiny mosquito coming occasionally to give you, to get a little butt. And then Lord, you know, universe willing, Lord willing, God willing, that, you know, eventually it'll turn into them giving you love, you know, stuff, plants, food, whatever, a child, you know what I'm saying? That type of stuff. So y'all see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm very intelligent and I'm very wise. So anyways, I'm just sharing that with y'all. That's the message I have to say, you know. I don't have to chase and I don't have to beg because I know what's meant to be with me will be with me. Shout out to my mentors, Ralph Smart, Infinite Waters. Shout out to Mike Rashid, you know, and shout out to Abraham Hicks, too. You know, shout out to these people and all the other mentors that have been helping us out. You know, y'all have an amazing day. Choose people that choose you. Shout out to Infinite Waters on that. Real talk. It's Eternal Authenticity. Broadcasting live.